like I said, this amount is how much it actually costs, and then tax gets added on. But in Australia, as I mentioned, usually GST is just included on the label. It's there. You don't have to do this calculation. Okay. So what if you wanted to know how much the GST of an object were? Okay. So we've got this situation here. Suppose the tablet has a price tag on it that says 980. So we already know, because we just worked it out, we know the answer we expect, how much the GST is. But how do you reverse engineer this to get to go backwards through this situation? Someone want to give me a suggestion? Someone hasn't said anything yet? Any takers? Hmm. Right, Daniel, do you want to have a shot? It's okay. Uh, Okay, all right, no, all right. So, Nipun, do you want to you jump in? Yeah. Well, how, how are we going to get from this? Like, I'm not just interested in the answer. I know what the answer is, but I want to know how to get there. So that later on when I don't know, I can approach it in a particular way. Rachel, do you want to have a shot? Do you divide the 913 by 10? 900, oops, sorry. I'm going to write down what I'm calculating. You said... Divide the 913 by... Okay, now let's write this down and pause for a second, okay? <coughs> this seems like a sensible idea for starters because like we did something like this before when we were working on GST, right? So no, that's good. But do you remember, okay, what this is going to give us is 10%, but it's going to give us 10% of this amount. It will not give us 10% of this, which is where the GST comes from. Does that make sense? So even though divided by 10 seems like a good intuitive first way to go, it in fact will not give us the $83 we were after. So it's a good shot, but what else could we try? Yeah. So you know that 913 is 110%. Mm -hmm. Hold on. Pause before you go on. Okay. Do you see how we drew that conclusion? Yeah. Do you see how we got that? Because yeah. there's, there's 100%, and then we just worked out 10%, so this is 110%. Okay, so, so far so good. Now what? Um, well, we can work, we've got the sale price. That's the sale price on the ticket. Okay, so I suppose what we want is either the original price or the GST. Once you've got one, you've got the other, don't you? Okay, so Ethan, you want to suggest something? Um, would you divide it by 11 so that you can get to the original GST of Okay, so dividing by 10 was very close, right? But in fact, dividing by 11 will be better because, do you remember the unitary method? You remember the unitary method we looked at before? Uh, if you've got like 17% of something, right? If you divide that by whatever number it is, you'll get 1%. Because GST is a specific percentage, I don't want one. I want 10. So to get from this to 10%, I should divide by 11. Does that make sense? 110 divided by 11, that'll give me 10%. Wait, so yeah. isn't in the unit 2 method joke, wouldn't we sum it out for the GST, the $83? Because it says substitution. If you were using the unit 2 method, you'd divide by 110 oh. to get 1%. But we actually want 10%. So I was right with 11. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yes. So, now you don't need to reach your calculators because we in fact already know the answer here. But if you want, you can double check. The 913 divided by 11 is going to give you 83. And in fact, if you go to the supermarket and you divide any good that you are going to buy, you divide it by 11, there's that little portion, that will be the GST. In fact, and here's, I actually would like you to jot this down and go do this. The next time you and your parents go to the shops, okay? You know, usually, like, if you're going to the self-checkout, they're like, do you want a receipt? And you're like, pfft, I need a receipt, right? Get the receipt, okay? And when you look at it, GST gets pulled out. They actually show you how much GST gets calculated, and they do it in this way, okay? It's also important because sometimes extra, some items have extra taxes and so on, and um, this is actually useful for your tax purposes. Yeah.